NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the Liberty Flames and the Houston Cougars. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. Play ball, baby. Play ball. The Zebra tosses it up. And we're underway. The Cougars should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. First of all, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. And finally, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. For the bucket. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Jam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. Seven on answer. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. With the jump hook. I'd say great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The point guard gets the ball. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Trying to go inside. Number three fakes the shot. Trying to feed inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Postel is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Trying to draw the foul. Perfectly executed. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. They look to get it to the inside for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Cougars have a three-point shooter spotting up. There they come with a double team to stop it. There he is. Puts the ball loose. Tries for two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Looking for a good shot. Goes for the deep one. It sticks. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. Dumps it in for the bucket. Liberty are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout.
Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Got some room. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Hey, you should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Steel goes up for two. He nails the shot. I want to see that again. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Pull up jumper from way out. Goes. That deserves an encore. Let's watch it here. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. The frustration right there. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The shooting guard gets the pass. Off the rim and no good. The power forward with the ball. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They're a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Just their excitement with that jam. The power forward takes the pass. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Show the replay on that. Ball comes back out from the post. Out there, Brad. You got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Way off target. The power forward takes the feed. That spin move not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The fake, 10 on the shot clock. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Our 10 just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough, and a great reaction by the defensive post player. He went for the steal. And in the process, he gave up the basket. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He bombs from outside. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Here's a double team. Another turnover. We're not talking apple turnovers either. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Perfectly executed. Ah, 
obvious foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. The Flames have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Kicks it out. He shoots from outside. It's good. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. Oh, what a strip, Red. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. There's the trap. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Count that as a personal foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He'll shoot two. Gets the first. Misses the second shot. Strong rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up for it. Both teams looking to get things going here. Up and inside. He fires away. Houston have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Gave it up. Turns it over. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up on the outside. Foul charge. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Double team now. Bad angle. Steal. Go up the other way. Get a layup. Looks at the hoop. Takes the jumper. The Flames have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Puts up the shot. Great shot. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Great anticipation defensively. Easy dude coming here, Brad. For two, drains it. an open guy in the post and went the other way. This young man means so much to this team and the fans just love it. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Tries 
for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. And the ball goes out of bounds. It. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Houston have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Nick. They're really on a nice run right here. up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Basic. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. You betcha. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. It's a special work, feeding the post. The Cougars are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Takes it off him. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. They strip him in a basketball, got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Gave it up, intercepted. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for the bomb. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. For two, and in and out. Puts it up, looking for contact. around the perimeter, takes away the pass. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. That's good. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, basket falls despite the contact. He 
gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He makes a nice shot fake. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten seconds to put it up. Liberty are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. from way outside. Tickles a twine. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way and you spin back the other way. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the foul shot. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Or two. Great play to take that to the basket. We get another look at it in the lane. Opportunity for two for one. Steals a pass. Working around the perimeter. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. He attempts the trifecta. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from New York, baby. Plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Puts it up. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. There they come with a double team to stop it. He drains it. At the half, the Cougars are trailing by 14. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Houston just couldn't seem to stop turning the ball over in that first half, Dick. Hey, if you ask me, these guys haven't clued on the magnitude of his game yet. They need to take care of the ball from here on in, or they have no shot, and they'll be running lots of laps tomorrow in practice. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron.
He dials long distance. You bet. Moving it around the perimeter. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot on the outside. That's a nice fake. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Watch out. Five-second call approaching. Cross court. For two, off the rim and no good. And he scores despite the half. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He attempts a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. From left of the circle, the shot won't fall. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Can't get the shot to drop. The power forward handles the feed. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Gave it up. He tries the three. Sinks it. He goes for three. He buries the shot. Here it is again. <laughs> Tries for two. He gets the shot to fall. Hold on. Let's see that again. Working it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. The point guard receives the pass. He shoots from left of the circle. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Mark. 
Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. He kept his dribble and used the screen to get the nice look from inside. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Picks off the pass. For three, he gets that one to fall. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The small forward handles the pass. Looking for the foul. Up and in. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. The power forward receives the ball. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. They still don't score. Shooter spotting up on the three. Now the high screen for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He shoots from the top of the key. He nails the bucket. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Houston have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it through him about a step. He threw down that dunk and got the foul. That was powerful. Wow. He went right through the foul. Now check him out. Who would have thought? Well, the cheerleaders. Come on. Hey, I think he's missed the first time. Play some hoop. Do a little dance.
This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. It's that one. He strips him clean. With a bucket. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Drains the shot. They work it around the arc. Great defense. He fakes the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Steals the ball. He runs with it. Goes up for two. Scorches the net. the dribble gives it up great elevator man man that's the elevator guy what a high rise it picks off the lazy pass turnover great job knocking the ball loose then chasing it down Houston are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. He comes away with it. Harm and foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench, defensive stops, and do it now. Thanks, Aaron. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Got them a nylon, NBA. Out on that screener. And the ball goes out of bounds. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defender without fouling is always important. Ten on the shot clock. He takes it away. The ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Good thing. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Jumps in, drops the bucket despite the harm. on the guy in the post to go the other way. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. High post screen. From three-point land. Here's the 
Here's a double team. With the fake. Gets the rejection. It's a block party out there. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. They work the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Easy bucket coming here. It's stolen. Gave it up. I think they're trying to make a statement. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. For two. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He tries a jump hook, and he missed. Dribble gives it up. Gave it up. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. They're working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. And in and out. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Free throw line. Opportunity. Makes it. Misses the second. He pulls down the rebound. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Jumped in front to take it away. Tries for two. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Up and inside. He shoots from outside. Rims out. For two. Houston are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. Perfectly executed. He attempts the trifecta. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Launches away. He can't get the bucket to fall.
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. They're going to move it around the perimeter. He fires from long range. In the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. They're working around the perimeter. Intercepted. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Steal. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. For the bucket. Houston is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. And we got a whistle and a foul. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. off the pass moving it around the perimeter got a guy right on him on the pass got a man in high post he shoots these boys are slinging threes left and right left right down the center every play hey, they're going in from everywhere baby gave it up from beyond the arc. Off the rim and no good. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Aaron's right about that. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. The lead is down to a bucket. Hey, this place is about to explode. It's dynamite, baby. On the outside, he tries the three. He gets it to fall. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. Goes up for two. Lays it in. Roll that one back. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. Back to the live action we go. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locked out of the box.
Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. Right now, his team in front by two. Drains it. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. This is the big time. He clangs the three-point attempt. And they'll decide this one in overtime. That's how games like this want to be, baby. Play the extra period. At the end of regulation, these teams are tied. NCAA tournament and we're in overtime to evenly match teams they played well throughout extra session coming up Richard you can't ask for more than this I tell you we got two evenly matched clubs that have really responded the PT peers are playing well the stars the coaches have their teams prepared and it's all going to get down I believe to the free throw line at the end of this game the turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He strips him clean. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Flames have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Takes it off him. They run it up. Tries for two. Finger roll. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow fake for two Dick it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this hey every once in a while you get a squad that gets on a tear it simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Picks off the lazy pass. Only one basket away from the crowd being absolutely thrilled. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. For the deuce, Houston are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Steals the pass. And working around the arc. He shoots from right of the circle. The Flames have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Great defense. Goes up for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. And the ball goes out of play. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call a game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. He lets it go. 
That was nice. Gave it up. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call by the official. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Just about ready for play to resume. Two-point game. Looking for a good shot. Let's it fly. He drains the bucket. needed breather with that time up. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. the dribble gives it up he makes the block the ball goes out of bounds Mr. Vitale how about that State Farm drive of the game oh Mr. Nestle this one's superb the ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play wow what a play it's a three point deficit and that can change in a matter of seconds baby hold on didn't give it to him down low, going the other way. With great anticipation for the rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Shot clock is dead. Nice fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They cut the lead to two. Hold on to your seat, Mr. Nestler. Time to pick up the defense here now. Is that what you'd call a next level play? Well, it's definitely a big time play in this game right now. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. No doubt about it. Second shot, no good. Timeout charge. Hey, can we get a club roll, Mr. Nestler? This one's going down to the last ticks, baby. We're about ready. 
ready to start things up again. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. Launches it, rims out. Nick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Cougars open the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.